Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Localhost Coding. This is part one of a two part series in mounting a hard drive to Home Assistant. In this video, I'll show you how to gain root access to Home Assistant OS without the use of any add ons. So, you just installed Frigate on Home Assistant and are running out of space to store recorded security camera footage. Or maybe you want to add a USB drive full of music to stream to your connected speaker. Whatever the reason, you just want to have access to more storage. There are plenty of ways to go about gaining more storage, but the most obvious solution would be plug in a USB drive and move on with your life. Sadly, Home Assistant OS doesn't make it that easy for us, but it doesn't mean we still can't do it. In this guide, I'll show you how to mount a USB drive to Home Assistant OS. This guide is specifically for Home Assistant OS, as I'll be creating a separate guide for mounting a hard drive to a supervised instance, since you would already have root access to that operating system. This first video will be about showing you how to gain root access to the base operating system. Having root access is needed for mounting the hard drive, and it is important in fully controlling your Home Assistant instance. I struggled for the longest time with Home Assistant OS because I didn't know how to get past the Docker instance. Eventually, I gave up and moved on to a supervised version. Hopefully, this guide will save you the trouble of the switch because you think Home Assistant OS is too restrictive. Before I begin, I want to mention I have plans for a few more videos. Dropping a like or subscribe would be huge for me as I'm just starting my YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. In this video, I'm going to be very thorough with my explanations. This took me several hours to figure out because for some people it just worked and for others it did not. Unfortunately, I fell into the did not work camp. And if you find yourself in this camp, you've come to the right place. If this is your first venture into trying to gain root access, then you are in good hands. Stick around and by the end, you will have saved yourself hours. To gain root access, you're going to need a USB drive. You will then use that USB drive to upload some configuration files to Home Assistant. I'll talk about the USB drive first, then talk about the configuration files. Here is the web page from Home Assistant that shows how to gain root access. The first line mentions USB formatting, specifically FAT, EXT4, or NTFS. This isn't the format of the drive you're going to mount. This is the format of the USB that will upload the configuration file. I tried all three formats, FAT, EXT4, and NTFS. I had some trouble getting a Samsung USB drive to upload the configuration files with the NTFS format. So I tried a second USB drive with the FAT format, and it worked. The Samsung drive was 64 gigabytes, and the second was 32 gigabytes. I wasn't sure if it was the formatting or the size of the drive, so I tried formatting the second drive, which was FAT, to NTFS. When formatted, it worked. From here, I got two more USB drives, both 64 gigabytes with NTFS format. I was trying to see if it was the USB drive that was the problem and not the size and the format. Both of the new NTFS 64 gigabyte drives worked. From here, I concluded that it was the fresh, right from the package, Samsung USB drive that was the problem. I formatted the drive a couple of more times and it finally worked. I thought the issue might be that the web page was out of date or that the function was no longer available. This isn't the case, however. You can still upload configuration files. Just be sure when formatting your USB to label it config, all capitals like it mentions in the web page. This is required. I don't really think that the USB was the problem, more that it was the formatting from Windows. I quick formatted the USB and maybe it didn't take in a manner that Home Assistant liked. Here's a key point though. Upon hooking up my monitor to my Raspberry Pi, I saw an error. Every time I tried to upload the configuration file, this error appeared. If you see this error, then reformat the drive and try again, or just get a different USB drive. In conclusion, for the USB drives, I would recommend the FAT file system if your USB drive is 32 gigabytes or below. If it is 32 gigabytes or above, the FAT file system will not be an option, in which case, use the NTFS format. Both file systems work. If the uploaded file fails, then reformat. The file system isn't the issue, it's the USB drive likely. And finally, the last step, don't forget to label your USB drive config in all caps with the USB out of the way, we can move on to the configuration files. There are a variety of different configuration files that can be uploaded to Home Assistant OS. Here's a GitHub page that shows all the different files that can be uploaded. 
Note that the configuration files and folders have to match exactly, like it is shown here. You do not need all the files and folders in the USB port to work, just the ones you want. The main configuration we're looking at is the authorized keys. This file holds your public SSH key that will allow you into the root operating system of Home Assistant OS. For the authorized keys file, we're going to need an SSH key. Home Assistant links some guides that will go into detail on creating a key, but I'll show real quick the most common way to create a key, which should work on most operating systems. Here, I'm using Windows, and I've opened up PowerShell. I opened up the web page that Home Assistant has linked. We're interested in part two, the notes section. It says if you're using a legacy system, run this command. I know this command will create a key that will work with Home Assistant, so I'm gonna use it. For the purpose we're gonna use this key, we don't need to enter an email. So I'm gonna exclude that part of the command. Next, it asks if we wanna put a password on the key. You don't really have to do this part. It's already pretty secure as it is. So I'm gonna hit enter twice. And now the key is generated. Here, it shows the location of the key. I'm gonna go ahead and visit that real quick. Remember, the key that we're interested in is the .pub. The other one is your private key, and you should not share that or link that anywhere. That stays on your computer. Now we need to put the public key into the authorized key file. If you're using Windows, you have to do extra steps in creating the file. Here's the Home Assistant web page. On it, it says it does not accept window line ends. This is a key point and will cause failure. If you're using Mac OS or Linux, you should be fine. But let me repeat this. It does not accept window line returns, so we have to take extra steps when using Windows. I'll show the process of creating the file. For Mac and Linux users, there is one thing you have to watch out for. The file needs to be ANSI encoded, not UTF-8, which files are commonly encoded in. For this example, I'll be using VS Code to create the authorized key file. While VS Code doesn't have ANSI encoding, there is a compatible format called ISO 8859-1 that is close enough. I tested it on Home Assistant, and it passed through. OK, here I have VS Code and PowerShell open. I'm going to navigate to the .ssh folder. Now I'm going to print out the public key, which ends in .pub. I'm going to copy it and paste it into VS Code. Now we have to get rid of window line returns. We can do this in the bottom right by clicking the CRLF and switching it to LF. And with that, we're no longer using window line returns. Now we need to change the encoding. Click on the UTF-8 in the bottom right and switch it to ISO 8859-1. Now we need to save it. Now I'm going to bring up the GitHub page and copy the name of the file exactly. Now we need to change our file type, scroll all the way to the bottom and select no extension, and save it. And with this, we have our file that's ready to upload to Home Assistant. I put on my screen what the USB should look like. Yours should look similar. Remember to label it config, all caps. The last step with the USB is to plug it in. With the USB inserted, let's head on over to Home Assistant. OK, here I am inside of Home Assistant. To import your configuration, head down to Configuration. Select Add-ons Backup and Supervisor. Next, select System in the top right corner. Upon inserting your USB drive, Home Assistant should recognize the hardware. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you should see text similar to this. If you do not, hit refresh and it should show up. This means Home Assistant sees the drive and if you've done everything right up to now, it should be ready to import. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and select Import USB. Upon selecting this, scroll back to the bottom of the page and hit refresh. we see that Home Assistant has imported the configuration. The import is instant. You should be now able to SSH into the root operating system. Here I have the Home Assistant webpage open that gives the command to SSH into the root operating system. My command will be a bit different. I changed my host name to PyHomeAssistant. 
If you haven't changed your hostname, the command shown on the web page should run just fine. After entering the command, be sure to give it a second to load. And now you can see we succeeded in gaining root access. I'll be showing a quick demonstration for mounting a USB drive, and I'll be creating a more in-depth guide for mounting a USB drive soon. Be sure to subscribe to get notified when that video comes out. Okay, here I am inside of my Home Assistant Media Browser. I'm going to go ahead and mount my USB to this music folder and load some MP3s. We can see now that the folder is empty. I'm going to go ahead and head back, open up my terminal, and I'm going to go ahead and list my drives and the partitions. I see my USB drive is mounted as SDA with partition SDA1. If you want to mount a USB, you just type dev and then the partition. Here is the location of the media browser. I'm going to check if the drive is mounted, and it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head back to my music, and we can see nothing's in here yet. That's because we have to reload Home Assistant. I'm going to go ahead and head back down to Configuration and click Settings, and then Restart. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. Okay, it looks good to go. I'm going to go to Media Browser, and it looks like it needs a little extra time to finish loading. I'm going to go to Music, and we can see we have successfully mounted MP3s into the Music folder, which means the drive was mounted successfully. Okay, to recap, Home Assistant isn't plug and play by default, so we have to get our hands dirty if we want to use a USB. The formatting can be one of three different options but I recommend FAT or NTFS. The USB drive that uploads the configuration files has to be labeled CONFIG, all capitals. Files need to use Linux line breaks and ANSI encoding, which can be a problem on Windows. If you see the error that I showed earlier, reformat your drive or grab a different USB. Remember, this isn't going to be the drive you use to mount. This one is just to upload the configuration files. Once everything is done, you can use this command to SSH into the root OS. Remember, be careful. If you run a bad command, you can lose all your data. While unlikely, it can happen if you run a command you're unfamiliar with. And the final point, root allows you to mount a USB. Remember, this is just part one of a two-part series. I'm making a second video where I go more in depth on mounting the USB. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.